You know what's even worse that though when a guy like that dies when you're trying to fucking broadcast and some asshole woman is talking in your ear. Nothing is worse That's than right. when you are trying to do something and some asshole is yammering in your ear. Are you talking about me? No. I'm talking about labor. <laughs> what are we doing for Labor Day, Travis? Travis, what do we what do we what do we have on? Going are people on for giving labor him Day? shit about this? I love him. I mean, he doesn't come across well. He comes across fucking great. I never cared about Lawrence O'Donnell. He's now my favorite broadcaster. Like, you're not sitting there looking at the Lawrence O'Donnell tape going, oh, why would somebody leak the tape of this guy? That's so, that's kind of fucked up. He seems like a good dude. No, I'm watching this, and I'm going, I know they're leaking it to make him seem like a dick, and watching this build, I'm like, he's 100% right. Well, you can't, you can't... You can't treat the people around you like uh, complete subhuman pieces of shit because Never. you're the guy on camera. No, but what you can do is when you're trying to do something and people are talking in your ear, mm -hmm. he's he, at first he's being like, there's this someone's talking in my ear. In the control room, basically he's trying to do some kind of a, like, I guess a, you know, uh, I don't know what SOT, SOT means. SOT, I don't know, it's lingo. Yeah, it's, it's some type of thing, but he's trying to do like this read into camera for, for the story. And someone is just talking in his ear. So he's getting annoyed. Like, he's right. He's, he's fucking broadcasting, and somebody is yapping in his ear. Slight. No, it happens a lot. Sot it, means sound on tape. Sound on tape. So it's happening. It's, he keeps trying to do it. Just watch. We can't watch the whole eight-minute tape, but watch a minute of it. So this I is, love the build. I do. The build is phenomenal. But he is building. He's not just yelling. This went down on, uh, on August 29th, they said. This is all from one show. And somebody from, from MSNBC just leaked it. Uh, yesterday or yesterday afternoon, and it kind of went everywhere immediately. I, there, there were probably moments on the tape where I thought he might be uh, overdoing it a little bit. I thought that he, he was completely reasonable. He could probably <laughs> calm down a little bit. You okay. know what I mean? There's probably a lot of people there that uh, hate his guts. See how that one goes. And this would be uh, this would this would be evidence as to why. Like if somebody came to me and said, "Yeah, I work for Lawrence O'Donnell." I hate that guy. I wouldn't be like, that's weird. What do you I, hate him for? I, I, I would I say, what it. did you do wrong? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, I get it, To though. upset the great Lawrence O'Donnell. If it's a live show, which I think this was, that's got to be frustrating. I guess. Just read the fucking news and go home. It's an hour. <laughs> just read the fucking thing. It's not like you have to remember it. Just read it off the deal and then go home. It's not like, you know, the new. The, he's frustrated, but at this point, the way the cable news works, you can't afford to be going off on people. Like, just, re they're just, okay, Lawrence O'Donnell's kind of a dick when there's people in his ears. Let's just replace him and find somebody who's cool with people in their ears. No, it's, you, it's difficult to talk when somebody's yammering in your ear. It is hard, yeah, especially when you, when you, when you got to read something. <laughs> 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 like, if I need to talk to, if I need to say something to Jim, I make sure that I wait for him to not be talking because I know that it's going to throw you off. It's, 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 yeah, it's difficult. She was but, talking about Labor Day. Oh, he's 100%. If he would have walked in there, if they would have said Lawrence O'Donnell was reprimanded for pushing a woman's head through glass, <laughs> but what did she do? She was yapping about Labor Day while he was trying to talk. <laughs> Team Lawrence O'Donnell. <laughs> I, I also think it's okay sometimes for things to be difficult. Like, yeah. you know, you read the news for a living. Like, it's okay if every now and then you have to do something that's not just easy. Let's, let's just watch the build a little bit. Because he's not immediately, he's not being a, a, a dick immediately. Thank you, Rachel. Well, today, smile. President Trump visited Texas, but he forgot to bring any empathy with him. But he did bring a hat. A hat that is for sale. Uh, was he joking or serious? Was that part of the real read or no? Yeah, this is live. Yeah, but it was him, like, criticizing Trump. Yeah, no, no. no What's but going I didn't, on? Why am I losing this? See, I didn't know. I, have sound? I didn't know if that was, like, a real... Is, would MSNBC actually have a newscaster say that? Yeah, of course. Yeah, he... I mean, he's the most like one of the most liberal guys on TV. No, no, no I know, but I mean, I, I didn't realize that they, they I, I guess they were editorializing. Yeah, they, edit, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, because he sells all of his hats on his website. Right. Yeah, no, no I know. So he but had a new hat. I just love that, like, he's going. This is a story about how Donald Trump is a jerk, and let's go to the tape. Hey, you fucking assholes! Can you not get anything right around here? Well, you know, he's one hundred percent right so far. He wants to, this is a professional man. Right. All right, so that's it's back. 
Guess, Someone's pressing buttons and turning my sound off. We got scowl. Who is who's asking for a Labor Day okay. rundown Hang on, in my bars. ear? He's immediately. <laughs> okay, I, no hold on. I, I, I must amend my sentence. <laughs> he was. He is immediately annoyed. He got it. As soon as he hears a voice in his ear, his bottom jaw just gets clenched. Yep. Yeah. You have to see the visual. We'll tweet out the video too. His bottom jaw just completely tightens up, like he's gonna fuck somebody up, and he's going, "Who is pushing buttons in my ear?" He's right. Okay. More about Lawrence. Go ahead, Lawrence. <laughs> Just glaring. He's cranky. He's fucking tired. Have some coffee, pal. He's fine now. He's all, all right. right. Someone in that control room is out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Home run, Lawrence. Chip O'Donnell. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're right. I love, I love how aggressively he handles his papers. Yes, he's not happy. He no, he's, he's not happy. He's very upset. Can you, but just think about that. Like, working for a guy like that who you're like, okay, it gets okay when he's live. Like, you're just, you just, you live for the moments when he's actually on the air. Because you know as soon as he throws to tape, it's somebody's ass. <laughs> You know, like, as soon as he throws to tape, he's going to have the clenched jaw, he's going to be scowling, he's going to be looking to kill somebody. And you're like, please, just go back live. Please, just go back live. I like when he's, like, <laughs> pretending to be pithy. <laughs> pretending to be a good guy. Yeah, like, oh, well, I'm just, uh, I'm just looking out for the people because our president isn't, and I think it's a, it's a valuable thing for Americans to watch Americans back and... Let's look at this list clip from Donald Trump. We should get that. Guy. Who is doing that right now? <laughs> He's completely right. I'm still team Lawrence O'Donnell. Even after realizing the error of thinking that he took a while to build, I who's talking in my ear? I'm still team Lawrence O'Donnell. <laughs> we should get that out of control clip for when Anthony fucks up in here. Yeah. There's, oh my gosh, some of the control room is out of control. I mean, the control room is out of control. That's right. Should have saved that one for the air. Did you get the play on words? Mm -hmm. Oh, now I get that. <laughs> Good stuff. Go on now. Control. Twenty seconds. Fuck. <laughs> 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 he really is getting cranky so fast. Pissed. God damn it. God damn it. God bless him. Ten seconds. Okay. <laughs> get. There's, here, he just freaks out. Here's why. They're still talking in his ear. They're still talking in his ear. It's almost like a, a blood vessel was going to burst. He puts his hands up, which it's, you know, my favorite part about this whole thing is that that one tiny second is the screen grab that everybody's using for this. Watch Lawrence O'Donnell become a crazy man. And it's the one second where he puts his hands up and it's like he's clawing the air. <laughs> and he can't believe that there's a mystery woman still in his ear. Yep. Get out of my head! He's Get out of my head! He's so right. <laughs> he's just, he gets very, he's very exasperated. Okay, so go back just a, a little bit. Because I like when he goes, no, go back before that. Because I like when he goes like, uh, fuck, and then he goes, God damn it, and then he spazzes out, and then he gets right to the news. <laughs> it's a professional. He is hot under the collar. There. God damn it. <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Someone please make a meme out of that. That's gotta be. Or would it be a gif? God damn it, I'm old. We could meme again. <laughs> yeah, could be either. Oh, no. So the president went to Texas today and has political reports. Nothing wrong he here. Very professional. President going to Texas today. He's a pro. Hey, let me criticize this president. God damn it, get out of my head. <laughs> They're still talking to me about God knows what. Like, Lawrence, <laughs> relax, you know, relax. Take, then take your earpiece out. And just read what's on the blue paper. You know, it, there's, it's also in front of you on the screen. Read the read the screen, and take the earpiece out if you have to. It would be great if there was actually nobody talking to him, and he's just a crazy person. That would he's be better. Just nuts. <laughs> Do, how hard was it for his staff to not be cracking up while he's doing this? They're probably scared of him. I'd be ducking under the table Even for other I, reasons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let me help you, Lawrence. I, I can get a promotion if I do this. I'll right? relax you. <laughs> it would be impossible to not laugh at this even if you're scared of him like just looking for a corner to go hide in so you can chuckle you know how many times this tape was passed around before it was leaked? i guarantee it was passed around. yeah guaranteed it's just the best of lawrence o'donnell and you can never it's trace like a faces it. of death video yeah just copies of copies of copies and you can't trace it because digitally there's just once someone has it everyone's got it it's out there yep oh. operator error 
I could have guessed victim, that. See an inch of rain or get near a flooded street. Born in horrific disaster and tragedy, and into that tragedy today stepped the President of the United States. Oh boy. There's insanity in the control room. <laughs> He's pissed. He's. He said it again. He can't believe this is happening. <laughs> right, he's so mad. He, he did the hands thing. I love too that he's like the rage oh, on his. He's shaking. <laughs> he's, he is shaking. He's man. so angry. What happened? Is it is it like when a person gets into a position of power? No, it's it's, it's when you can't believe there's such utter incompetence. No, it's 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 not the power. It's the but fact that. But there was a that, time in his life when he would get that angry and people would be like, "Fuck you!" and just punch him. You know well, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, maybe. But I mean, the bottom line is he has like an on-air job to do. Right. And what's happening to him at this moment is so avoidable, and it's somebody who's fucking not doing their job. He pushed the wrong button. And it's like it's, but he's but he addressed it the first time and it was annoyed, and it's continuing to happen. So whoever he's talking to is not fixing the problem in the control room. Like the, these people all know there's a problem, and this fucking asshole is still talking about Labor Day. Doesn't this make you appreciative to be on radio? Where if something on this show specifically, if something's going wrong, you can. <laughs> You can just, <laughs> you can just address it. It's 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 such a relief to be able to. That's the beauty of stand up over acting or radio over TV is you can address when things are the wheels are coming off or you're yeah. frustrated. You can talk about it, and a lot of times you can bring the person in and call them out and get something out of it. You yes. can't do that what he's doing, so he just has to fucking swallow it and plow. If we had to plow through, and you know, and Sam and I were talking and then talk about this shit off the air, this would be horrible. Yeah. Like just and 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 it's little things too because they're such perfectionists. Like let's say uh, Anthony was Anthony was a second late on that sound bite for us. No big deal. It happens. It's whatever. Make fun of him. Well, yeah, make fun of him if we have to, or don't even acknowledge it. Whatever. Like it doesn't matter. But if this were like cable news, that's right. And he was a second late. I'm just, what are you doing over there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going back on. Okay. And uh, the president tonight was. God damn it, Anthony! You're fucking me up. And it's like it's like they feel like they like they, this rage builds in them, because O'Reilly was this same rageful guy. Yeah, this rage builds in them where they feel like the entire staff around them is you're just all here to fuck me, aren't you? He's really upset. He has he, he first of all he has thin lips and he is livid, <laughs> livid. He's he, a blockheaded man. He's a he's an angry blockhead this evening. He's a blockheaded, thin-lipped man. <laughs> If you think the president's language was a little too celebratory about the sudden fame that can happen to people during hurricane coverage, a fame no one should welcome, if you think the president's language missed closer and closer to the president himself. One of the deaths in Hit Houston pause for a was second. ignored. Every time he stops a sentence, like, like just there, you can see like in the middle of a sentence where there's a, a, a pause that's a split second too long between two words. I'm assuming there's some lady going, so what are we doing for Labor Day? Are you going to have a, I don't know if I'm going to cook. Do you want to cook? Woo! Because <laughs> no, you uh. assume they're talking about what the network's doing, but how much better would it be if it was just a girl, a lady, trying to make plans for uh. Labor Day? Is everybody from the station getting together? <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> and then, with some annoying bitch. He's sitting there going like, yeah, the president was celebratory in Texas. No, we're not inviting Lawrence, are we? <laughs> I would, I would, that would really make me happy. Ah! <laughs> what do you mean you're not Our inviting president. me? Trump is police sergeant Steve Perez, <laughs> who had been missing since Sunday morning. You have insanity in my earpiece. <laughs> Look at him, Matt. He's <laughs> talking through his clenched teeth. <laughs> don't, don't leave it there. Don't leave it. Let's just leave it. The guy's trying to earpiece. touch it. It's somebody talking on our lines. He's like, don't try to fix it. You're not going to be able to fix yeah, it. Yeah, the guy tries to touch him. Some fuck. Ten seconds. <laughs> Cursing. I am completely on his side. You always think, like, how do, how do anchors <laughs> get caught saying nasty things on microphones? But then you realize that, like... It's all taping. Lawrence O'Donnell, ten seconds before he goes on live TV, is going, Oh, fuck. God damn it. <clears throat> so the president... <laughs> yeah, they're, and they're all... Every, the tape just rolls. Of course it it's does. It's digital now. Well, they just roll. Yeah. What do you think? It's on film where they're like, you know, oh, I don't know. It's going to cost us a lot of right. money to keep. No. Everything. They might. They probably just tape the studio 24 hours a day because who cares? Anytime anybody walks in there. Yeah, do a show. Whatever. Yeah. Five, four, three. So pissed. President Trump Ooh. did not mention Sergeant Perez today. And he has not tweeted 
about people are in shelters across the There Texas is something now. great about this clip. Here's where it's like you're realizing that even when like these anchors try to be as sincere as possible, right? He's trying to be sincere and talk about the Sergeant hurricane Perez in Texas. Sergeant Perez is a victim, and yeah. Sergeant per yeah, and, and Trump. He doesn't care about any of this stuff. He doesn't care about the hurricane. He doesn't care about Trump. He doesn't care about Sergeant Perez. All he cares about <laughs> is this goddamn woman in his ears. Yeah, he's, That's what's in his head. Yeah, he's faking the sincerity. He is. Absolutely. <laughs> and I hate that because I'm a hurricane guy. You're a hurricane guy? Do you support hurricanes? That was me just being sincere. It's good, right? I see it in your eyes. Travis is talking to you in your ears right now, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's saying, do you hate him? And I'm going, yes, do you? <laughs> Are you you're talking about Lawrence no. O'Donnell, right? No, not talking about you either. <laughs> I, I'm just kidding. We both, just, we both just stared at Anthony at the same time. Go on now. Hit play, boy. Houston's mayor, Sylvester Turner, this afternoon. Every time we go to Wasat, there's a woman talking in my ear about something that has nothing to do with what we're doing here. And they're like, fuck you. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, we, we know. We heard you. Yeah, we heard you. Why don't you get all pissy about it, Lawrence? Hey, Larry, just do your job. Yeah. Read what's on the teleprompter, Lair. Shut up. He really can't take the earpiece out. He feels disrespected. He could James take now, the earpiece out. Yeah, they asked him to take the earpiece out. And he's like, leave it in. Leave oh, it oh, in. You know what? Yeah, he's, he, you know what Don't take it out. <laughs> Stop talking on the goddamn thing. He's right. He doesn't want to take his earpiece out because why should he have to not do his job right? Because some unprofessional fucking asshole doesn't know what they're doing. Just, just if he would literally would have picked up a fucking uh, a paperweight and smashed someone's teeth in, I'd uh -huh. still be on his side. Just take the path of least resistance on this one. Take the earpiece out and let some chubby guy count you down behind camera and just read what's on the screen. Sure. And then walk, he should walk into that control room and literally begin swinging something. He probably did. I hope so. If you look at his energy, it, that does strike you as the type of energy that would do that. I hope so. Wouldn't it be great if the way Fox News had uh, sex scandals everywhere that all their anchors were like trying to fuck the, the, the correspondents and stuff, that at MSNBC all the anchors were horribly violent people, <laughs> that they kept going in and just <laughs> beating their staff unmercifully? Like Rachel Maddow was just kicking the shit out of staffers. I love a good, I love a good anchor meltdown. It's the best. Because he gets even worse here. Fellows, national correspondent for the Atlantic and former speechwriter for President Jimmy Carter. You're also mumbling. Ernest, you can tell he's former he's White done. House he's press pissed. secretary for President Obama. He's an MSNBC political. <laughs> She's kind of scowling at the camera. Scowling. He's just a mean guy. Thin lips. He's not. People go like, oh, you know, this is my dream come true. I've always wanted to be a news anchor. He is not happy to be a news anchor. <laughs> no, but he's, he's just. This is not like you don't have that kind of anger in you ready to just Trans unleash if you're a happy guy. He's not a guy who's like, you know what? This is what I've always wanted to do. And I'm here and I'm reading the news for a living. He's not happy. He goes to bed unhappy. He's not sure of his job. He's whatever is stressing him out. He is stressed all the time. He's not a happy guy. He's not living his dream. No. No. <laughs> but I'm still Team Lawrence. I know you yeah, yeah. As of right now, you're still Team Lawrence? 100%. All right. Fellows and Josh Fuck. Ernest, thank you both for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. He doesn't appreciate anything. Coming up, is Donald Trump going to be called to testify to Congress? Michael Liskoff has the latest on that. Let's hear what he's got to say. Clear. Stop the hammering. <laughs> Another hammer. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? Where's the hammer? <laughs> Is it on the... Uh, go up on the other floor. Somebody go up there and stop the hammering. Where's the stop hammer? Stop the hammering. <laughs> I don't think he's mad about the hammering. He's trying to do his job. He's I, fucking someone's hammering. He's right. I don't think it's the hammering that's got him upset. He's been, He's had a bad night. I think there's other things in his life that, that he's taking it out on the hammer. I don't think so. I think that when you're on a, you, he has a schedule to keep and someone is hammering someone's, while he's broadcasting. That's not professional. Someone's hammering. He wants him to go upstairs, downstairs, side to side, whatever you have to do to stop the hammering. <laughs> he's completely justified to not want hammering while he's broadcasting. He's trying to broadcast and there's somebody hammering. There's craziness in the, as I call it, out of control room. <laughs> and then a guy's hammering right above me. Oh, they're fucking with me tonight. He's completely right to not want some fucking twat yammering about Labor Day and some asshole hammering. What could the guy be hammering? 
What are you doing in a, in, a, in a television studio hammering while the man is broadcasting? They don't know. Maybe they didn't soundproof the studio well because they were. That's uh, possible. They don't know if he's upstairs, downstairs, side to side. They don't know where this guy is. He. There are probably more polite ways that he could have handled that. <laughs> no. Nah, like, nope. Nope. I'm this is totally right. I'm gonna start yelling at uh, the guys who work here like that. Go ahead. Yeah. That's up to you. I'm fine. <laughs> so if I started just being like, what the fuck are you doing over there, Anthony? Just like venomous. Yeah. Yell, you'd be like, yeah, good. I got you back. Thanks, man. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. All right. Get ready for it, Anthony. I'm ready. Fuck I'll go you. down to the goddamn floor myself <laughs> and stop it. Keep the goddamn commercial break going. <laughs> call fucking Phil Griffin. I don't care who the fuck you have to call. Stop the hammering. <laughs> Hashtag it. Poor intern's got to give him papers. I feel so bad oh, for boy, this she girl. She ran right off. <laughs> There's a couple times in that video where the girl comes on and has to drop his papers off in front of him, and she is petrified. Even though it's not her fault. No, but she just doesn't want to be around that energy. You think you think Lawrence O'Donnell would have gone down and just grabbed somebody's hammer and just beat him to death with Depend it? Depend on the size of the person. Yeah. Hopefully it's the same woman yapping in his ear that was hammering so he could just bash her brains in with it and fucking get it all out of the way. Lawrence O'Donnell just comes back on television for his send-off. And he's got just blood all over his face like Patrick Bateman in American Psycho. And he's like, that's been the news this evening. He's wouldn't holding you, a hammer. Wouldn't you love to have you able to hack into that and like do the talking while he's like trying to like just to fucking talk about something mindless in his ear? I would. Do you? I thought about that. How great that would be. How amazing it would be to just be in his earpiece. To have some terrible conversation. Especially, Not taunting him. Just no. No. As if you don't even know it's on. Yeah. Like, oh, did you watch, uh, you watch Walking Dead last night? It was a rerun. Was that a rerun? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, and he's just losing his mind. <laughs> you tell that meatloaf. Yeah. You fi once you figure out that that bothers him as much as it does, oh, would I want to take advantage yep. of it? I really would. Yep. What size waist are you? I'm a 31, but you know, it's funny. I was a 32 for quite a while. How'd you get, the, how'd you get that extra number off? Hard work. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Give me the hammer! I would love to see him... I want to. I wish I could see what happened after this. Like, I would love to see. He where... must have spazzed the fuck out. You think he smashed things in his office? I, I don't know what the resolution was. Like, did he realize that it was something that was no one's on his floor's fault? Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, like maybe it wasn't the control. Maybe there was a fucking. Maybe it was a signal. Like once in a while, you pick up a radio signal you're not supposed to pick up. Maybe it had nothing to do with the control, and they could, could stop be. it. Here's what's dangerous, though. If he apologized, he didn't mean the apology he just swallowed all that anger and guess what it's all gonna come out again he just swallowed it down and the next time oh is it gonna hurt oh. stop the hammering that's like uh what, what was the what was the tagline for that show heroes on N uh, on nbc find the girl or something like that save the girl wasn't save, it? The girl. save the girl save the world save the girl stop the hammering <laughs> someone from oklahoma city is saying that he's 100 percent right unless she's quoting it was, or, or, or k-lip i don't know what she's saying <laughs> k-lip is her name i think so hello you're listening to k-lip hey. oh it's k okay k-lip c-a-l-e-b oh, oh sorry they spelled it k-lip k-lip we thought you were like a rapper <laughs> that was fake D <laughs> that was fake D yeah all right but no, man, O'Donnell is 100% correct on this one, man. As a former uh, on-air talent and television director, I'm getting furious listening to this shit, brother. You were on the air? Did you ever freak out on anybody like this? Oh, I never freaked out on anybody. I always popped my IFB out and turned around and told the floor directors what O'Donnell should be doing right. to tell the lazy-ass producer in there to turn her fucking headset off if she's not talking directly to me. I mean, we've all been there. Like, uh, I I've told It's my ongoing. I've told my stories about getting oh, yeah. getting angry and like freaking out on like people serving popcorn and stuff. Like you, you, you sometimes you get angry when you see incompetence and you just lose control. Yeah, we all do it, but especially when you're actually doing your job, it's even worse. Yeah, when you're trying to do your oh, job. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks for the call, man. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks, bud. Bye. But you do have to at, at some point if the people are working for you. You have to at least treat them like human beings. But it, again, I don't know how long this was going on or this is when it started, but they're not working for him. They're working for the network and they're not doing their jobs. It's not like they're just, they're just not doing what they're supposed to do. Someone is not stopping people from talking in his ear. And he's right to not want that while he's broadcasting. Like He's just got a job to do and they're fucking him up.
So it sounds like a dick thing to do. He's got that jaw nice and clenched. But it's unnecessary. Like, his job is being fucked with unnecessarily just because someone doesn't know what they're doing. And it's like, it's such an avoidable problem. He's probably not a great guy to get into a fight with at home. He might be a, a total cunt. I don't know. but in I this, would imagine yes. In this particular thing, I, I see him as being correct. You want to hear a little more? He goes yeah. 0 to 100. Real quick. Oh no, someone is saying that I'm uh, is, is against what I'm saying, so I will take that call in fairness. Yes, John in Jersey. Hello. Yay or nay? John? He hung Aww. up. He was gonna say I was a buffoon. If you're going to put people on hold, can we make sure that they stay on hold so that my co-host doesn't sound like a total idiot again? Yeah, Travis. <laughs> God fuck. Damn it shit fuck. Damn Where it. is my mother? What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Tra Travis, is, it, is that Travis yelling at the staff, but his own issues spilling out? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I feel bad. Yeah. That guy just hung up. This is why your mom left. <laughs> what? You gotta relax, dude. Not true. You gotta, you gotta chill out. It's okay. Empty out the goddamn control room and find out where this is going on. It's either there or there, or out there somewhere. So what, he, what, he's, what he's saying is he wants everybody in the control room that's working for the show, everybody leave and go out on the hunt for the hammer. He well, wants no, he's also, go, also the control room noise. I think if he says everybody get out, then he'll... No, he's saying every... He's still talking about the hammer because he doesn't know if it's coming from below or above or from the sides. So he wants everybody to get out of the control room and find the hammer. Oh, okay. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> You're not going to make it. <laughs> the woman talking in my ear was talking about the Labor Day special repeatedly. Every time we went to a sot. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean in the conversation? Not in the bush sot. No. 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 Oh, this poor girl. This girl. Well, he's bad. not yelling at her. Fine. Out of control. Oh, but she yelled at Crumpling things up, throwing them out. Violently. He's not happy with certain writing either. But he's already, he's made himself clear. He'll get to that. Fucking out of control shit. One minute. Oh, he's got one minute. I love when people curse. And they get upset and they start cursing. I like that. Harass and intimidate people of color. The new sheriff of Maricopa County, who beat Joe Arpaio, joins us next. Okay, and we're I good. don't know why I bother to say how to cut the slots when you don't do it. <laughs> I just don't, I don't know why I, I just... So now I have to chase those stupid goddamn entrails that you allowed him to stick out there. Jesus Christ. His hair is out of Crazy place. fucking sound coming in my ears. <laughs> fucking stupid hammering. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Lawrence. <laughs> He's having a rough go of it. He's having a rough one, man. He slammed his pen down on the he floor. He looked like Conan O'Brien when he did that. Yeah. Because his hair is out of place. A teeny now. bit, yeah. Yeah, and he's got that Conan O'Brien bang thing going on. But he's so pissed at everything that's going on. None of it's lost it's on him. It's cumulative, too. It, yeah, it's all happening for him tonight. And he's saying Lawrence entrails. O'Donnell and the terrible, horrible, no good, very <laughs> bad day. He goes, do they even have newscasts like this in Australia? It's a children's book. Oh. Yeah, Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Hey. Yeah. He's, uh, the entrails are probably, there's something in there. There's certain things in writing when you're reading them out loud are just harder to say. Right. And for him, I don't know what it, what it, what it is, but there's something that he doesn't like the way it's written. And he's probably said, can you not? And they just keep writing it like that. Right. They're like, fuck you. I don't dude. know what an entrail <laughs> is. I don't know what that means. Somebody probably was like, oh, Lawrence doesn't like this, you know? And they're like, yeah, well, what Lawrence doesn't like, mm. yeah, I'll tell you how much I care about that. Fuck him. Yeah. There's the intro. No. He just looked up entrails. Like, I understand that. Are you trying to be cute? I told you oh, why I wanted those Did fucking you think he was? Yeah, cut. he's trying to be cheeky, to quote you. Like, here's what entrails are, Jim. It's probably the letter entrail. Like, it's probably the word that ends in N. Do you, you would, I'm going to safely assume that you and I both know that entrails are a, a thing. Yeah, the smoke thing, yeah. I, I don't know what it means, what he's saying. But, but in the context of Lawrence. Yeah. We don't know. Exactly. Yeah, right, yeah right. I don't know what that means. We either. know what they really are. Thank you, Anthony. God damn it! Oof. Can you imagine if Lawrence it had to work with Anthony? Fucking sucks. That dumb it fucking fucking smile <laughs> on his fucking face. It's not even sincere. <laughs> and what's he gonna do to make it better? Bring in another one of those fucking shoebox cakes? Yeah. 
Mother cooks like a bunch of logs. Thank you, Lyle. I'm glad that you're here. <laughs> Lyle O'Donnell. <laughs> What's all that laughter in my ear? <laughs> I like the idea of Lyle Chipperson being the only staffer that Lawrence O'Donnell's like, thank God for you, Lyle. <laughs> like, it's the or only if that's, guy. imagine how annoyed he'd be if that's what he heard in his ear. Yeah. Fucking Labor Day. What are you, pregnant? <laughs> There's craziness. There's craziness in my ears. There's brilliant jokes in my ear. <laughs> Yuma. Yuma. <laughs> uh, we can actually Sucks fix. to be out. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, this is one. Go back to uh, a couple minutes, because this is when he's like, mm. this is his, his, his moment where he's like, I'm out here doing what I'm doing, and it fucking sucks. Yeah, go back to like 10 seconds, yeah. yeah. Goddamn entrails that you allowed him to stick out there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Crazy fucking sound coming in my ear. This fucking stupid hammering. I told you why I wanted those fucking words cut. Yeah. He's livid. It just fucking sucks. It fucking sucks to be out here with this out of control shit. Feels like a man on Any an island. Fucking thing can come into my ear at any moment. That's what I know. Anybody can get into my fucking ear at any time. Some woman talking about what we're doing after the show. <laughs> you going out for drinks? <laughs> I mean, he sounds like a lunatic, crazy person. People just get in my ears all the time. He's completely right. There's not one thing he's done that's made me think he's wrong. Why don't we start throwing all the shit around? I got it. He's he's uh, on the air and he's asked him not to write something a certain way. And they did it anyway. Like, yeah, and he's like, what the fuck? I love it. Because now it's just about everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's any, all... any complaint that he may have had last week, now now is the good time to bring it up. <laughs> right. Everybody's fucking with me. And there's some lady who's talking about what bar she's going to later. And she's in my ear right now. I don't understand why she's talking to me about what she's doing after the show when I have to do the show. Yeah, he's just he's just sick of it. He's sick. right. He's, well, he's right. This is why we're in the shape that we're in. God damn it. These fucking things. There's a reason these words have to be cut precisely. Oh. I want to know what that means. I, I'm assuming that it means like words have to be so that he can say them. Yeah, like yeah, but I, mean, before, I don't like, know which words. Like, what, what is it that he's, there's a word he's stumbling, you know, I'm big A can't go ST words. Right. Is there something he's fucking tripping on or just that's hard for him to, to say? Maybe he didn't do his vocal exercises before he started. Yeah. How now, brown cow? How yeah. now, brown cow? I bet you his, his, his words are, ah, cunt hammer ear. <laughs> cunt hammer ear. The rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain. Go fuck yourself. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's only uh, less than a minute left. <sighs> oh, and everyone in the audience who's going to complain about what that guy just said is absolutely right. <clears throat> oh, boy. Oh, he must have been like a pre-tape cut. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, that, that yeah. fucked up the context of it. Oh, possibly. There's our beautiful intern. Thank you. How do you say this guy's last name? Jesus. Fucking... D-bag Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> fucking guests' faces coming up in the middle of a fucking script. I have two degrees, you know. <laughs> when do I get full time? <laughs> oh, Lawrence. Thank you. Got a minute 15. All right, it's over. Wow. Poor Lawrence. <laughs> they really threw him under the goddamn bus, huh? They really did. They they one fucked those, up his show. One of those staffers was really like, you know what we should fuck with today? Lawrence O'Donnell. Hey, media what do you think of this video? See, this is what's annoying. He, uh, I didn't realize he apologized. He did apologize. MSNBC host Lawrence O'Donnell apologized Wednesday for a curse-filled rant. Call. Why? He didn't release it. O'Donnell was not in the air, but cameras were rolling as he went ballistic during a break, complaining, can't fucking NBC, uh, or call fucking, I don't hear the fuck the noise, uh, blah, blah, blah. Who's got, who's got the hammer? The last word host said he was totally at fault and tweeted, a better anchorman and a better person would have had a better reaction to technical difficulties. I am sorry. Uh, you know, how about this? A better staff wouldn't have constantly had that happen when you were repeatedly asking it to stop. What about the guy with the hammer?
I hope he was killed. <laughs> I hope I hope that they found who that person was and they yeah. fired a nail gun into his temple. And that was it. Yep. You fucked up King Lawrence. Did you ever see Lethal Weapon? <laughs> when they fired that nail gun through the fucking plastic? That's what I hope happened to that guy. Wow. You really love Lawrence O'Donnell. No, I don't care about him. I've never watched his show. I probably don't agree with a lot of his politics. I'm going to start watching his show just he's in case. He's probably a smarmy liberal. He's a very smarmy liberal. Fuck him. I don't care if he's a big dick. But I want to start, uh, I, I start watching just in case something slips through. Yeah. Because <laughs> something could. I mean, he gets pissed. He is really, really pissed. I don't know if it's this, Chris. Uh, what, what, me and Sam are trying to figure out. Sam and I. Um, uh, that's right, Sam and I, correct. <laughs> uh, yes, Chris, in Maryland. What's going on, brother? Hello. Hey, uh, I was thinking the distance away from where Lawrence is at, they have to keep the text a certain size that he can read it. So if the text in what he's reading, if the sentences aren't chopped correctly, it might cause him to like cause certain pauses in incorrect places. It could screw him up a little bit. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if it's, it's right. It's possible. Okay. It's possible. Love the yeah. show, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Pal. Yeah, because it seemed like he had a problem with the writing and then also with the way the clips were cut. Yeah, just everything. Just fucking relax, bro. There's no way that everything can be wrong right now. Every, oh. it, 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 you, can't, you can't be mad at the entire show. No, but he's had these issues he's having. The hammering thing? Is oh, he 100% right? This fucking dummy's yammering in his ear. He's 100% right. They're trying to make plans. If he's asked for something to be cut a certain way because it's easier for him on the air and they're not doing it, he's 100% right. I don't even like finding out that people are making plans for after the show while the show's on when they're not in my ear. Like when I just see them in the booth. It's true. And I, they're just socializing. I'm like, Absolutely. Oh, you guys on vacation? Yeah, you're not supposed to be on the... You should be doing what the audience is doing, fighting boredom. <laughs> that's, 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 that's not, oh, not a good philosophy. No, <laughs> no, no. I mean, I thought they'd be locked in. Is oh, what I was my thinking. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, that was that, that's the wrong thing entirely.